It was 1812 when a Swiss explorer, Johann Ludwig Bachart, introduced a mystic land of a long lost civilization to the world. The area he entered was forbidden to the outsiders and unknown to the most of the world. Only the local Bedouin tribes knew about this, but they kept it secret as they feared it would draw attention of treasure hunters. Johan had heard about this land, but didn't really know what exactly it was. Hence, he learned Arabic and converted to Islam. He also changed his name to Sheikh Ibrahim bin Abdullah in order to blend with local tribes. He somehow was able to reach this mysterious land and was flabbergasted with what he saw. He was looking at the lost city of Petra. No one really knows how old Petra is, but most scholars agree that this city was built somewhere around 300 BC. Petra, also known as Rakhmu, was the capital city and the trading hub of the Nabataean Empire, who ruled the most parts of modern-day Jordan and Israel. Nabataeans were nomadic Arab people who strongly believed in God. Hence, there were lots of tombs and temples created during their regime. Petra was strategically located between the trade route from Rome and Arabia to India and China. Hence, it became an economic hub and made Nabataeans wealthy. In 106 AD, Emperor Trajan of Roman Empire annexed the Nabataean Empire and brought Petra under his control. Petra continued as an important destination for trade. However, that did not last forever. Palmyra started becoming the new trading hub and this declined the money inflow in Petra. Petra also suffered from two major earthquakes in 300 and 500 AD, which further deteriorated its condition. Most of the people abandoned the city and Petra was left to die a slow death. After its discovery in 19th century, historians and researchers across the globe flock this side to find out more about this. There are lots of references of this place in Bible. For example, it is said Petra was a place where Moses struck his staff and water came out. It is also said that Petra is close to the Mount Hor, where Moses' brother Aaron was buried. Thus, enthusiasm grew amongst Jews, Christians and Muslims to explore this place and tourism grew exponentially. The main attraction of this place is al Khazne, which is carved out of a single stone. According to the excavators, they have discovered only 15% of the city ruins, while the remaining 85% still remains buried in sand. Petra was designated as one of the new seven wonders of the world and UNESCO declared it as World Heritage Sites. Petra has gained international attention and it is now becoming more popular with the time. Who would have thought that the curiosity of one Swiss person could bring back the glory of one of the greatest ancient cities in the world? Do let us know what you think about this video. Subscribe to our channel for more such amazing stories.